What's up guys, it's Machanga, back with another video. Now, working from home has become the new reality for a lot of us due to the global pandemic, but not everyone has a dedicated desktop or laptop to accommodate this new work from home requirement. Some of you may or may not know this, but if you have a recent model Samsung Galaxy S series device or Galaxy Note device, you can turn your smartphone into a nice minimal desk setup to work at home. In this video, we're gonna be using the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, but like I mentioned, there are other compatible models you can use and I'll list them down below in the description. Let's go ahead and cover all of the items you'll wanna have to make this mobile setup work most efficiently. You'll wanna have a monitor. Now, most models will work fine as long as it has a HDMI port. I'm using a full HD 27 inch Dell monitor with a USB-C and HDMI port. I like the slim profile of this monitor for a nice single monitor setup. I currently just have my Galaxy phone connected directly to the monitor via USB-C, but you'll need a USB-C hub or USB-C adapter that also has a HDMI port included. The reason you'll wanna make sure you use both the USB-C cable and the HDMI cable is because you wanna be able to charge your phone while you're using it. With my demo setup here, the phone is connected, but it's not currently charging. There are so many different affordable options available. I have a USB-C hub from Anchor and Pluggable, so I'll leave those and some other budget-friendly options linked below. And of course, you'll need an HDMI cable to connect your hub to your monitor as well. Next, you'll need a keyboard and a mouse. Now to keep this setup as minimal and compact as possible, I decided to use a wireless Logitech keyboard with an integrated trackpad. This is the Logitech K600. I love the design and the simplicity of it. You don't need a separate mouse with this one and it's wireless, so you can save a bit of space on your desk or your work surface. Of course, you can also use a separate keyboard and mouse for a more traditional layout and for proper ergonomics. I use tons of Logitech products, so I'll leave some links in the description for the ones that I own and can recommend. The keyboard can be wired or wireless, so don't think you have to spend a bunch of money on these peripherals to make this desk setup work. In my previous work from home video, I mentioned using a webcam in your work at home setup, well, you can still use a webcam in this smartphone setup and it's already included on your phone. The front facing camera on your phone is going to look 100 times better than any laptop webcam. So it's really a no brainer. I recommend finding a way to prop your phone up at the top of your monitor for optimal positioning in front of your face, but you can always just set it on a charging dock or a phone stand right on your desk. If you don't plan on using this webcam feature at all, then you don't need to worry about this. But I'll leave some accessories linked below that will make it much easier to attach your phone to the top of your monitor since there are several cheap ways to get it done. The next optional accessory is a pair of headphones or earbuds. I'm using the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus with this setup since they pair easily with the Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now I say this is optional because the speakers on the Galaxy device sound fine and the microphone works perfectly fine, but if you want something a bit more discreet, you can use a pair of wireless headphones connected via Bluetooth. You can also use Bluetooth speakers, and I'll leave some link below as well. I consider this to be a great productivity setup that doesn't require spending money on a new laptop or a desktop. If you just need to get up and running using the Microsoft Suite applications, attending or hosting web conferences, browsing the internet, accessing Google Docs, or if you just want a more robust setup for media consumption, this is almost as good as it gets. If you have questions about getting everything connected, jump down in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you out. Again, all of the items mentioned in this video will be linked down below for you to check out. If you like this video and you want to see more from me, hit the like button. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you tap the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I release new content. I hope this was helpful or at least informative. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.